Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble and use your best. Let me turn the flash on. Your best little clingy helix deluxe. Okay. First, you untape. You take the screw from the tape. You have, you have to untape the screw from being right here where they tape it. I don't know why they choose that spot, but they do it. You slide the handle on. So, stick your screw in there. You need a Phillips head screwdriver to do that. And I don't know why I'm live streaming. I thought I was videoing. But I guess I'm live. Who's here? Screw this in. Ugh. Thanks. Oh. Hi, Jeremy. Why are you following me on Facebook? You, this, those, ugh. Damn it. Slide that in like that. Hmm? Why are you following me on Facebook? You, see these grooves right there? You line them up right like on here. Ow. And twist. Yeah. Do it right now. Take the hose, slide it in, nap it up there. I'm just doing this, I don't even know why. That is there. You take your turbo brush, and if I can line it up in those things, and push it on. And your cord wraps neatly. On here. So, Jeremy, while you uh, how'd you find me on? Oh, great, two people. How'd you find me on Facebook, Jeremy? Twelve items. Twelve. Twelve. 12 amps maximum power. Dual edge cleaning. 15 wide, 15 wide pass. Dual edge cleaning again. Bissell. Bissell Clean View Helix Deluxe Turbo Brush. Ex exclusive Helix system. Improve. Cleaning performance. Easy empty dirt container. Lift filter cup to access filter. DJ six eight dash. I'm gonna um. It my mine is o o one four five r one one o e. I mean uh, mine is. Two oh five zero. I mean seven. Filter. Got a filter. That's dirty. What's the model number on this one? Hi. My stupid phone. There. Dang it. Damn it. I would turn my flash off, but my lighting in here sucks, so, my, model number, 21K3-2, my sister's watching Raven's Home, boring, who's the third person? This is dirty. Who's the third person? I put my filter bag. Question. Who's the third person? Because I have three people. And zero and zero likes. Dang it. 
got my Helix thing scratched. On the video of me getting it, it wasn't scratched. Boo-hoo! My Bissell lift off all the way over there. Pro Heat Pets. Bissell Rewind Smart Clean. Bissell Power Force Helix Tro. 1701. Bissell Power Force Helix Turbo. Don't know the model. For one channel two, rewind. Bissell Power Lifter Pet Rewind. Bissell Power Force Bags. Forgot the model number on those two. That one too. Oh, four people watching. Here's the fourth person. Thank you. That's funny. The power groom is six eight C seven seven. That's funny. Ugh. I need a new brush roll for this. As you can tell, needs a bath. Ugh, and I can't get this. Just so you know, my sister had a pink Bissell Power Force Helix. I mean, a Bissell Power Force Bagless. 6583, but 65. 6583W, and this is the filter that came in it, surprisingly. I don't know, I I don't know what's up with, without the X, you know, Bissell's old style with the X. But my sister's Bissell Power Force Bagless 6583W had this filter. So this filter and this foam filter came from the Bissell Power Force Bagless 6583W. So that's why it's in my clean view, because my other one got destroyed permanently. Officially destroyed. Michael Stenson, did you know Filter Queen brand new or uh, dang? Swipe the brush rolls with the power. Okay. I'm having to swap rolls with that one, that beast over there, and put it in this one because this one is freaking loud literally it's so loud the next door neighbor can hear me Ugh, can't undo this see old it's just bissell surprisingly this actually fits in my vacuum i don't know how it does i hope they bring the old pistol power force bag this back oh yeah Bissell came out with a Bissell Power Groom Bagless Turbo. It, it's essentially the Bissell Power Force Bagless Turbo 6585, but blue. That's what it looks like. Are you buying a Kirby? Um, I would... But they're too expensive. They're like thousands of dollars. I'd rather just buy a cheap, a cheap plastic made Bissell. See, Bissell made out of plastic. I can crack this. I don't want to. Look at the. That one's dirty. That's got business dirt in it. Literally. Because my, because, um, my Mima, my grandparent, one of my grandparents, she decided, because I left this at, um, her house one day, because it was getting a new turbo brush bracket, she decided to take it to the hospital where she works, and vacuum the rocks there. And when I got it back, all this was in the vacuum when I got it. See, rubber bands, paper clips. Dirt. This is business dirt. This is actually this is actually dirt from a hospital. So I need, I'm not gonna use this anymore until I get some Lysol disinfecting spray and spray this whole entire thing down. Cause who knows what's living in that now. There might be out. There might be nastiness in this, so this needs to be cleaned. That's why I hardly mess with that. 
And all this dirt in here came from my sister's closet. That little carpet area. That's dirt from there. And some from the vacuum. The bis the um bis will lift off my side on a big mess chest. That's my dad's vacuum. <laughs> this is his. I don't know why he liked Hoover, but I hate Hoover. I hate this Hoover. I don't know why I have it in here. I got this a long behind time ago at Target. This, and this is why I don't use it. It's because the hose, if I could see, it's broken. The hose. See, it's got scratches and stuff. That's why I hardly use this Hoover. And plus, it's clogged. <laughs> It needs some cleaning, my Hoover. I need a new filter because it's got a big hole in it. Victoria did that. I love this cord rewind on these though. And you know what else is broken? The thing that holds the dusting brush is broken on this one and my Hoover T-Series. Rewind. And my Hoover One Tunnel Two High Capacity Pet is broken too. And my Hoover Elite Rewind is broke too. My old one. So what do y'all want to do? I'm actually. You know what's sad? This thing hasn't been used in a long time. Cause look. Watch this. Dust. Isn't that dirty? That's dust. Same here. Five days worth of dust. These vacuums don't get used a whole lot because they're junk. Except for the power lifter. I love my power lifter. Actually, you know what's sad? I actually haven't used my free filter. <laughs> my house needs to be cleaned. Let's look at all this dust. My house needs some cleaning. See all that dust on it? See all this? Walmart gave me that. Y'all should see my bridge model. Look up here. This is dust. Five days worth of dust. This is, tell me if this is Russian. Look at the bridge. It's dusty up there, too. This whole house is dirty. <laughs> so, yeah. Your shirt. Start. Okay, okay, what would y'all want me to do? I got my lift off. I don't Where's even know why shirt? I grabbed this. What do y'all want me to do, guys? Sorry. Ugh. I wonder if any more. I have. I, I wish more people than two people would come. I wish I had like a hundred people on my live stream. Cause some there's actually people that actually been like there's actually been a hundred people on a live stream before. Victoria.
I need, does anybody have any ideas where I can get one of these? Nasty filters. Because every time I vacuum this filter out with the shot back, oh, it still gets dirty. Oh, you're the Why is my the bed? I had to go in the freezer. Ew. So, is there anything I'm gonna. Yes, I'm gonna that. Does anybody want to lift off? A Bissell lift off. Some people think, like Edmund as an example, think this snaps in here like that. Tell me if that looks right to you. Some, every, everybody thinks if it's like missing the extension wand, this is where the hose goes. It's like that. Edmund had his like this, and I don't like, I don't know why. This is wrong. It snaps in like that. This is where the extension one goes. Can you see the picture? Ugh. I, I don't have my extension one, because apparently, my 6585 is not here. It's at my grandparents' house. About the hose attached, everybody thinks about where the hose is. Because every time I see, every time I see the vac, every time I see a person have the hose snapped in here, it drives me insane. Because that, you can't lift it off if it's like that. They have it, they have it like this for reasons that you can lift it off. Not right here, so like, oh yeah, let's be stupid and stick there so I can't lift it off. And then my lift off is broken. My hose is dirty. See that fuzz in there? How do I clean this? Come on, sister, How come I don't have no likes? All this hair came off my brush roll. But every time I do clean out the hose, every time I do clean out the hose, it always melts inside. There's a hole in it. Look in there. Twelve amps. Look at the poopy. Michael Stenson. About what about asking I a I, I ask. That's about the question. About the hose? You hair. Don't worry, I'm gonna suck this up with my beautiful clean view helix deluxe right over here. Oh yeah, I meant to tell you guys. You know, how, remember when my um, bra was all nasty and hairy? Those came off. I just threw those over there because I can. See, I can throw this over there because I'm going to do. It makes it actually lighter if I just have my on. Doesn't this look so much better now? Doesn't it? There's not that much hair around it like it has been before. The one, the person that told me to clean this was Brayden D. Shout out to Brayden D. I don't know why they decided to put a yellow brush all on here. It does not match it at all. Blue and yellow do not match it. Great, William's calling me. CA thirty one's calling me. Oh, Slide. Mm. Okay.
There's nice stuff you do if you want to want to use your vacuum right away. The next step you want to do if you don't want to use your vacuum right away, undo your, undo, unwrap your quarter, undo the twist tire, and wrap it up perfect like this. Don't just undo it and throw it on the vacuum. Okay. My dad sucked up glass with this last night. Ow, tripped over the cord. Everybody that has a problem pushing a vacuum, get tripped over the cord. Ugh, dang cord. Sticking in the cord hook. Hold on, let me untake this knot out of it. This is why I hate this vacuum. This is why I hardly use it. I don't hate it. I just, this is why I don't hardly use it. extension cords and stuff and I'm gonna vacuum my whole room with the clean view and go over it with the lift off see what the lift off the clean view left I ordered I had a spare actually a spare foot release so I got it because Michael Stinson, are you going to answer my question? What question? You didn't tell me any question. What question? Um, what question? That's my mom. I don't think I've been the stream this time. <laughs> Not there. The vacuum. My question what best vacuum? <laughs> what? There's comments. I don't like these. What? My question the best vacuum had like best solder double Eureka. Ugh. Vacuumed, but they don't last. Michael Stinson, what's the best vacuum? Best saw. This brand. I recommend this brand. Bissell. Not Eureka. Not Dirt Devil. Dirt Devil is actually the worst vacuum cleaner brand on the market. Not Dyson. Not Shark. Bissell. Kirby's okay. But Bissell is the best. Shark is actually the worst. They say it's actually it's actually sealed. It's not. I have a Dyson that's completely sealed. That they say is completely sealed. And it blows dust. Literally, I found a I found a dice. I'm gonna bus I'm gonna shark. The newer one, like the shark powered lift away. With dual clean technology, I found one of those on the side of the road. The problem they had with it is, is that it was not completely sealed. It blew dust. That's why. By the way, they are true that on the shark commercial that this does let out mold spores and stuff because of the back. It's not actually sealed. It does leak dust. Okay. Hi, Jameson.
actually don't want to tear. I don't want to. My brush roll sounds too bad. I can't do that. It actually sounds horrible. My brush roll sounds actually really bad. If it didn't sound horrible, then yes, I'll do a big mess test with it. There's too much going on with my brush roll. And I actually hate that it does this. So, this is what got caught in the roller. This is actually welding in the vacuum. It's actually really loud. By the way, I have a I have a I have a question for Kayla Buster when it went on. And I hope he sees this video, but if he if he lives closer to me, like in Charleston, South Carolina, he would be owning this vacuum cleaner. Caleb would be owning this. If he lived like near me in Charleston, South Carolina, he would have this in his vacuum collection. I know, but if he, but he's going to hear, but I want him to know. Because, because hopefully he will watch this video. But, that's why I haven't shipped it out, because I don't have that much for shipping and stuff. I don't have enough money. I'm broke. I have no money. Sorry, I muted y'all. I didn't mean to. So. Y'all want to check if the belt slipping? Let me get my screwdriver. So yeah, that's what I have to say for Caleb. If you live next to me, like in my neighborhood or in the state of Charleston, South Carolina, he would be owning this vacuum. But sadly, he don't. I wish he lived here. And I'm sorry that you haven't gotten this and I haven't, I'm not waiting two years to give this to you just because you're black. I never said anything about that. So if I were you, I would delete that dumb video. And the only reason why CS31 is going, doing this stuff, doing all this bad stuff and saying, because he's going through a whole lot of stress. He's been telling to me over the... ICQ is our video thing and we do that. He's been going he's going through a whole lot of stress. When his great great grandparents died. That's why. Or is dying, not died. So that's why he's going that's why he's doing all kinds of weird stuff. And you're wrong, it's not slipping. It actually smells like burnt rubber. Ew. My dad actually broke some of this. Actually, he actually made it. Some of this is actually rubbed a little bit. I hopefully. Like, where is it rubbed at? My dad vacuumed with this last night. Rubbed at. Trying to find where it's rubbed. Cause he actually vacuumed my sister's room and he accidentally got the brush stuck in the blanket. Ugh, stupid mosquitoes. Who's the, who's the person here? I know I'm losing views. I'm losing, um, people. Listen, this is why. You hear that? Cool. Hear that noise? Can 
coming from this side. Because watch this. I'm going to take the belt out. Take this off so it doesn't break it. This is what it sounds like without it, that noise. That's what it's supposed to sound like. Now it's the loudest noise from the roller. So yeah. Rainbow vacuums aren't are okay. No, fine. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't own one because actually I've seen one catch on fire before. So yeah. Ugh. Stupid mosquitoes. And you're gonna have you're gonna get a difference. Take all this crap off of it first. See all this hair from my dad using it. He actually used this to suck up glass last night. Cause I heard the vacuum break. I heard something get stuck in the roller. Cause I heard something. I thought I heard it break. I thought this was in two pieces. Cause sometimes that happens. The roller. There's a video on YouTube of a 6579 brush roll came and came apart. Like it was in two pieces. And I guess y'all are going to go see that video. Sadly. It's deleted. Brushes are nasty. Jameson, where'd you go earlier? I can't do anything because I'm live streaming and my brush team. Nice! Jameson, do you like it? Mm. I want one. And these stupid strings are irritating my skin. I do not suggest sucking up hair with this type of rollers, these rollers. Because then again, they get stuck. Ugh. My lighting in here sucks. I hate lighting in my room. Hear that loud noise? Listen. For dinner. It actually sounds good right about now. Arby's or fried chicken from Piggy Wiggly or Bilo. Or not Bilo, Harris Teeter. Fried chicken. Okay, ready to hear it? Turn this back around. Turn the flash on. Okay, watch this. It's this. The loud noise is this. See? Go on eBay and get a new brush roll. Uh, what Bristol vacuum do you recommend that? will last um do the old ones count
Like, what's like, do you are you asking for a pet vacuum or a regular vacuum type thing like this thing? Hairs, 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 hairs. I totally would recommend the 2190 or the Bissell Pet Hair Eraser. The new Bissell Pet Hair Eraser lift off. And the shampoo I recommend is those. I don't recommend the Bissell Pro Heat 2 X Revolution Pet Pro crap. I don't, rem I don't recommend all that crap. That's too much. I only recommend the Bissell Pro Heat Pad because it's only it's 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 good. I don't recommend the Hoover steam vacuums. I don't recommend the Dyson DCs. Well, I do recommend the Dyson DC14 and the Dyson D the Dyson V10 Absolute Animal. I recommend all. I mean, most of these Bissells. I'm missing a not really a screw. I am not missing a screw. I thought I was missing a screw and my freaking foot itches like crazy. And I am about to throw this stupid screwdriver out the freaking window because it does not want to work. Somebody's calling. I won't. I'll be right back. I'm not ending the stream. Wi-Fi customer. Sorry, it was something about Xfinity connecting to a home thing. I don't care about Xfinity. Ah. Ugh. So yeah, those are the vacuums I recommend. Like, if you do, you want one like for pet hair. I don't want to. I don't want to upgrade to it. I already have Xfinity. Xfinity sucks. Well, this is proof that I have Xfinity. And I hate it. See? Xfinity. Xfinity sucks. You suck. Xfinity TV box. Uh. The worst TV company in the whole wide world is Xfinity. Well, Xfinity, their on demand does not freaking work. And yes, I had a vacuum themed birthday, so don't make it fun of me that I have toy vacuums. William already knows. I had a cleaning themed birthday, which I was surprised about when I got home from school. But this is what I got for my birthday, this Bissell. And my fuck. I hate this stupid foot. Yeah. There's sawdust in this. Do y'all want to see my Roomba in action? Because y'all have never seen my Roomba in action on live. See, here's my Roomba. Come on, you can get it out. I was just getting it out. I don't care about my freaking battery. Watch this. See the hair? Watch it. He picked up the hair. You want to see where it is? In here somewhere. Oh. It's in this mess. This is what I hate about him sometimes. Or Mrs. Roomba. Hate her. This is what I... I've already done a big mess with Tess with her. Don't worry. She's already done a big mess test. Our Roomba's already done a big mess test. And, this, and I will call her Mrs. Roomba because she sounds like a girl. It sounds like a girl when it tells me about him. I just broke it. I just broke my dang Ruba. And I don't know how to get this back in there. My dog, Evie, hates this thing. Ugh. 
thing. I hate how this big cheap belt thing hurts. Oh god, it's heavy. Let's dump all this back out. See, sort of clean. Filter. Ew, hold on. You don't want to see this. Ew, that's my room. Ew. No wonder this thing is clogged. Hurt that came out of it. No wonder the vacuum wasn't working. Because of this. No wonder my Roomba wasn't cleaning like it was supposed to. Because the filter was freaking clogged. And I hate it because it does not like to stay in its housing. Oh yeah, and I do not recommend Roombas because they're just a waste of money. They're just an ugly thing. If you don't believe me, watch this. Listen. Hello, and welcome to your Roomba orientation. Let your robot clean routinely so you don't have to. I'll be helping you and Roomba get to know each other better. Because the more you learn about Roomba, the time you'll save. And the more Roomba learns about you and your space, the cleaner your whole house will be. So how does Roomba get your floor so clean? Roomba uses a... Of brushes. My phone service is T-Mobile. And a corner cleaning side brush. While Roomba is cleaning, it uses an array of advanced sensors. And, if not and complex patterns and movements. Okay, yeah, I'm done with her. Move. To massage, clean your whole floor. The important thing to remember is to have a little patience with Roomba. Don't Let it do its thing and don't, don't guide, guide it to spots. It may it take a little longer than pushing an upright around, around, but that's the beauty of Roomba. Roomba. You aren't doing, doing it. it. When Roomba right. finds a particularly dirty area, you'll see this blue light turn on. Yeah. And Roomba will clean more thoroughly in that spot. Roomba's light touch bumper feature helps Roomba find its way around even under your nice. furniture and lets it clean right up to the edge of any wall. Pretty cool, huh? Well, that's pretty much all you need to know about Roomba. I think you and your robot will be very happy together. It may take a little longer than you to clean a room, but remember, Roomba cleans routinely, so you don't have to. Let's just have the remote. See? She has to... Put it on spot. Don't hit my vacuum now. Don't hit me either. Hopefully I'll stop in a minute. What? We're watching Mrs. Roomba. And she get ready to stop. Why'd you stop right there? See how full this thing is. Oh, it actually cleaned in the filter again. Oh, you might like it with that. Give me a second. Kind of clean this nasty filter. My sister's favorite vacuum cleaner. 
I'm actually gonna suck that up with the regular vacuum. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I can actually guide it. What was that? My room was going. It's being a naughty vacuum. See underneath. Eh, it's clean, surprisingly. Okay, what was that? A vacuum expert? Huh? What is that? What are you saying, ex vacuum expert? I'm gonna put this up anyway, because she's, she's being a naughty little bit. What happened, vacuum expert? I guess he left. Eh, I don't care. If he doesn't care, I don't care. But apparently, I think he hates me now because I'm not answering his question. I'm sorry I'm not answering your question. And just so you know, y'all are leaning on my left off. Oh, now you decide to charge. Stupid piece of crap. Okay. This is what I think about Roomba. This is what I think. This is what I think. That's my opinion about Roomba. Because she's crap. Have you heard? Uh, yes, I've heard about that. Unplug my thingy. I can't move y'all around because y'all are on my charger. Yeah, I'm gonna vacuum with this. You wanna do a big mess test? How about this? I'll do a big mess test on. Uh, be right back. From eBay to yep. eBay? Yep, I have an account. Mm. What is the phone number associated with your account? Uh, why? My phone I'm calling you guys on that y'all keep calling me because I don't know why. I uh, don't, you know, let me check it here first on the account so I can verify what, you know, what's the reason behind of, uh, why eBay is calling uh, you. Can you. Can you give me a second, please? Sure. You're calling a 13 year old. Please don't call this number anymore. Oh, you'll call the cop. Thank you. Oh, sorry, guys. That was eBay. Next time I call, I'm going to hit that one again and turn the vacuum on. Well, I'm gonna end the stream. It's getting late. I'm gonna do another stream later on. Okay, bye guys.